Okay, so today we're going to create our sprite using the Pixel Art web app. So we're going to create our sprite, then we're going to download it to the computer, make two or three or four more copies, which are slightly different, save them, and then next week we will use these within our Scratch game. So we will upload them as costumes for our sprite. So I'm keeping it really simple. I'm making a robot. I am using two rectangles. And you see here, three little pixels are white, three pixels are black, and that will give the illusion of eyes. I've block colored using the bucket tool. Now I'm going to draw three little crosses, and these are going to be different colored lights. When I make my variants, I will probably change the colors around. So when they move in sequence, and we use the next costume block on scratch, it'll make it look as if the lights are flashing. I'll also make the eyes move to a different position, so it's looking round, and also have the arms do something different. So you see here, I'm almost finished. I'm keeping the background plain, and you can see that's plain because of the checkers. That means it's a transparent background. So we put it in a scratch, it will not be a big square, which is our costume, but it will be just the robot and it can sit on top of the backdrop we use for our scratch game. So here's the first version, I'm almost finished. Now I'm gonna click the save drawing, which is up in the top right hand corner. I select save drawing. And then I don't need to name it, you can if you want to, but it says download PNG. Move it so the width and the height is as large as possible. We can always shrink it down, but if you don't do this, it'll be a very tiny picture. Then select download PNG, and that will save it to your downloads file. As soon as you've done this, you can name it, you don't need to. It's saved down the bottom corner. Um, X out of this. Then carefully just make some changes. So you can make the arms going up instead of down, make it look like he is moving, or that they are running, or they are jumping. Think about what you want your characters to do in your game and how you want them to show movement. Use the color picker tool so you can make sure you get the right colors. Um, really important there. And I'm gonna turn some music on. You can watch the rest of this as I create three. And if you see at the end, I've just spliced those together into a GIF to show you the movement which we will get when we have three or more different costumes going on. So, watch through the end, but we'll also go through this in class, and this is the process. downloaded three robots if you see in the picture here they're just slightly different and I've spliced together using a gif app to show the movement and that's what it'll look like when my robot moves side to side in our scratch game 